A plate of an isotropic metal is subject to the stresses sigma x and sigma y. And we know the strains occurred as a result of these stresses. No yielding occurs in the plate. We would like to estimate Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio for the metal. And finally, we will comment on what type of metal is it. To solve the question, we will use generalized Hooke's law. We know that generalized Hooke's law says that epsilon x is equal to 1 over e times sigma x minus Poisson's ratio sigma y. Actually, we have sigma y plus sigma z here, but since no yielding occurs, we will assume that sigma z is zero, so I won't write it here. And similarly, epsilon y is equal to 1 over e times sigma y minus Poisson's ratio sigma x. We need to leave Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio alone so that we can calculate their values. The e equation for Young's modulus is easy. We know that it is equal to sigma x minus Poisson's ratio times sigma y over epsilon x. And it is also equal to We know sigma x, sigma y, epsilon x, and epsilon y. But we don't know the value of Poisson's ratio. So let's find the value of Poisson's ratio first. We know that epsilon x over epsilon y is equal to sigma x minus Poisson's ratio times sigma y over sigma y minus Poisson's ratio sigma x. We will multiply the opposite size so that we can find the proper equation. I will take this part to the left side and this part to the right side. And we will have epsilon y Poisson's ratio sigma y minus epsilon x Poisson's ratio sigma x is equal to epsilon y sigma x minus epsilon x sigma y. We have Poisson's ratio here. Let's leave it alone. And the equation for Poisson's ratio is epsilon y sigma x minus epsilon x sigma y over epsilon y sigma y minus epsilon x sigma x. We have the values for all of these. So let's substitute the values. Poisson's ratio is equal to
and we have Poisson's ratio is equal to 0 0.2768 and it is approximately 0 0.277. Since we find the value for Poisson's ratio, we can now calculate the Young's modulus. Let's calculate it here. And it is 0.2768. And we have Young's modulus is equal to 412.797 and it is approximately 413 MPa. When we look at our book from the table 5.2, we saw that Tungsten alloy has a Young's modulus close to the value we found. So we can say that the metal is tungsten alloy. And we are done with the solution.